Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you all, my beloved sisters and brothers. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for your life. I thank God for your life and your family life. For your waking you and night up to see another blessed for day. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's mighty. He's excellent. He's wonderful. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I would like to have a word, a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Asians of the Father, thank you for this privilege, O my God, that you give into, that you have given to us to sit at your feet again, to hear from you, Lord, to learn from you, mighty God. We appreciate you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, for all my brothers, my sisters. Thank you for their lives and their family. I give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise, O Lord. Father, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Father, that you, Almighty God, as we come to sit at your feet, feed us, O Mighty God, with your word, O Mighty God, give all the spirit of understanding. Help us to understand your heart, Almighty God, to understand your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, please, that help us in Jesus' nation. So they please help us in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, Father, help each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Shadow, Mighty God, cover me with your precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover each and every one of us with your precious, with your precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God, I decree you increase in me. Come and, have, come and have your way in the name of Jesus Christ. I have nothing to do on my own. I depend on you. I rely on you, Holy Spirit of God. Please, uh, the ministry belongs to you. Take perfect control in the name of Jesus Christ. Be with my mouth. Speak to your children. Use my mouth to be the mouth of your, your peace and your, the mouth of your oracle to speak to your sons and your daughter right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, change us with your word in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you and I bless you all day in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Almighty God. And I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Any power, any spirit, any personality that I want to attack that want to disturb Father God let your tongue of fire rise and strike those powers out of our lives in Jesus name and I come and have your way in the name of Jesus Christ and then we knew where we were sinned against you I repent to Lord forgive me forgive my sisters and my brothers and your glory in Jesus mighty name I have prayed amen amen may the Lord bless may the Lord bless you in Jesus name I welcome I welcome you once again may the Lord bless you in Jesus name amen Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The topic of today, the Holy Spirit. We are talking about the Holy Spirit today. The topic of today, the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit is the God the Father, the God the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. They are, they are, they are all in one. There is no separation. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Please, I want to remind you and all, according to the word of the Lord, that the Holy Spirit of God is your comforter. Is my comforter. Holy Spirit of God is your helper. Is my helper. Holy Spirit of God is your intercessor, is my intercessor. Holy Spirit of God is your reminder, is my reminder. Holy Spirit of God is your, is your, is your, is your, is your strengthener, is my strengthener. He is the one that strengthens us when we are weak. He is strong, he is strong, he strengthens you and all, everything. Please, we should not neglect him. Please, we should not call Holy Spirit if. Holy Spirit is not it. Holy Spirit is a person. Holy Spirit is a person. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ depends on the Holy Spirit. The time he was here on this day, it depends on him. It's the Holy Spirit that led our Lord Jesus Christ throughout all his mission, all his day on this corner, this, on, the, on this earth. On this earth, on his saying on this earth, it was the help of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that was leading him. Holy Spirit is a person. You know, the word of the Lord said, you should not grieve the Holy Spirit. I should not grieve the Holy Spirit. You cannot grieve something what is it. You cannot grieve, grieve what is it. It's Holy Spirit is a person. Holy Spirit is a person. You and I, we should learn to rely on the Holy Spirit. 
you and I, we should learn to commune with our Holy Spirit, to have relationship with our Holy Spirit, to have intimacy relationship with our Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is very important to you, it's very important to me, for you and I as a believer to make heaven is by the help of the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that will convince you the sin and that will tell you this is wrong, this is wrong. It's the Holy Spirit that will lead you. It's the Holy Spirit as the word of the Lord said, the Father Lord Jesus Christ said, it will bring, it will remind you, it will bring you the things that will come to pass, the things you need to know he is the one that will remind you and I. He's our reminder. Holy Spirit is very important as a child of God for you and I living a holy life, a righteous life. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit helping you and I intercede. Leading you and I every day. Let us have communion with Him. Every day you wake up, have communion with the Holy Spirit. You and I should have communion with the Holy Spirit. We should not neglect the Holy Spirit. We should not call Him it. If you are a minister of God, you are not preaching about the Holy Spirit, please try to start and preach the Holy Spirit. Because Lord Jesus Christ uh, rely on Him. He said, you know, I thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. He purchased Holy Spirit for us with His precious blood. He purchased Holy Spirit for you and I, very precious gift. That he gave to you and all. We should not neglect that gift. We should not drop that gift. In some way. Holy Spirit is a gift from, from, from God. From Lord Jesus Christ to you. To me. Holy Spirit is a gift. You are not. You, should, you are not. We should not neglect the Holy Spirit. You are not. should not take Holy Spirit out of our dictionary. We should not take addition, we do not take a Holy Spirit away from our lives. That said, it is, it is, is He, Holy Spirit, the God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. Father, Lord Jesus Christ loves you so much that He paid the price for you and I to, to have Holy Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Let us have communion you know, with Him. Let us have relationship with him. Let us talk to him daily. When you wake up, I wake up. Let us greet him. Father, the God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Oh, Father, the, the God, the Father, the time, but Father God, creating the world, the time, the Father God, creating human, human being. What Father God said? He said, let us create man in our own image. Had it be, it was only Father God, he will not say, let us create a man in our own image. Father God could have said, let me create man in my own image. But Father God didn't say so. He said, he said in his word, let us create man in, my, in our own image. That means Holy Spirit was there. Holy Spirit was with, he was with him. The Holy Spirit, the, Holy, the Father Lord Jesus Christ came and paid the price for you and I to have Holy Spirit. Father Lord Jesus Christ said, depend on the Holy Spirit. The, 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 his mission here, fulfilling his mission, it was by the help of the Holy Spirit. Doing the work of the, the doing the will of the Lord, doing the will of His Father, it was by the help of the Holy Spirit. We are going to see the word of the Lord today. We are going to read, read the, the, the word of the Lord. Bless you and I, we should lean on our Holy Spirit. We should rely on Him. We should not lean on somebody else. We should not lean on our own understanding according to the word of the Lord. Beloved. Holy Spirit, yawn, hungry to have fellowship with you. He, because of that, is here for you and I to have fellowship with you, for you, for him, eh, teaching you and I the right way. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit, beloved. Living a successful Christian life is by the help of the Holy Spirit. Because you and I, we cannot do it with our own strength. We cannot do it without no strength. You said you want to run this heavenly race with your own strength. You are joking. Why? Because why you are joking? I said you are joking because the, the, the fallen angel, the Satan, 
that Satan, the fallen angel, you know. He is the first archangel Father God created. He knows all the trick that he will do to, to, to make somebody not to make heaven. But I thank God when you are not rely on the Holy Spirit, you and I will make heaven. When you are not depend on the Holy Spirit, you and I will make heaven. Not to, you are not depending on ourselves. When you depend on yourself, the enemy will deceive you anyhow. Because the enemy will turn what is a, what is the evil, he will bring it so beautiful, he will package it with a with a beautiful uh, gift wrapper and present it to you. If you are not living by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not leading you, you will fall. But even when you rely on the Holy Spirit, when he brings that package, that beautiful package to you, suggesting something that looks so very beautiful, good, good idea. Holy Spirit will tell you, check it out. This is wrong. This is false. Praise Master Jesus. Holy Spirit will open your eye to see the detail. Please, let us rely on the Holy Spirit. Father Lord Jesus Christ loves us so much that he paid the price for you and all. So you and I, we don't have to struggle. You and I, we just have to depend on him. Just I have to rely on the Holy Spirit. He will do the help for us. He will help us. He will advise us. Praise Master Jesus. The Holy Spirit is here for you and all. His mission for you and all, his mission here is to help you and all. His mission here is to help you and all to make heaven. His mission here is to help you and all to run away from sin. His mission here is to, for you and all to rely on our God, accept him as our Lord and Savior. He's the one that taking you and I deeper in the love of Jesus. It's by the holy help of the Holy Spirit when you and I, we are worshiping Almighty God. When you and I, sometimes you are worshiping Almighty God before you knew what is going on, tears start running out of your eyes. Why is the help of the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is taking the love of is taking you deeper in the love of Jesus. Now you are seeing by the help of the Holy Spirit, we are seeing the love that Jesus Christ loves you. That He left His glory, left His glory, and come to, to, to suffer for you and I and die for us. Then the Holy Spirit starts taking you deeper in the love of Jesus. Now you see, now you start crying, you start weeping because of the love. Now you are understanding deeper what Lord Jesus Christ came to do for you and I. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit. It's because of that you and I, we should not neglect him. It's very vital. Very, it's, it's vital in your Christian life. It's vital in my Christian life. Let us value him. Let us value sweet Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is important to you and I. Many churches, they are not teaching about the Holy Spirit. They are not talking about the Holy Spirit. That is the most important thing we are supposed to know. In our Christian life, the day you and I accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, our Savior, we believe in Him, we give our life to Him. Holy Spirit came and lived in us, dwelt in us. He's the one that telling you when you do something wrong, you say something wrong, He's the one that correcting you and all. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit. Many of them that they are, they are, they are, their heart, they see their heart with hot toy and one sorry, one hot iron. Why? Because they don't want that. They, when they are hearing the Holy Spirit, they don't want to listen. They just want to do their own thing. They thought they can find the enemy by their own strength. You cannot fight devil by your own strength. You don't have the power. You don't have the power. You don't have the strength to fight the, fight the devil, the enemy of your soul. By your own strength, by your own power, you don't have the power. Remember, he is the fourth archangel. I thank God when you are when, when you, re, you and I lean on the Holy Spirit, we rely on the Holy Spirit, he will continue leading us so that you and I will make heaven. The enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul, don't want us to make heaven. Why? God that threw him out there where he is not going to be. He will not never be in the heaven anymore. He knows the beauty of heaven. He knows the beauty of heaven. He knows the goodness of heaven. He knows the joy of heaven. But now he's in a darkness. 
Why? Because he wanted to take heaven. He wanted to overthrow the God. Can you imagine? And God threw him out of heaven. And the demons that signed it down, all those uh, fallen angels that signed it, they want to use, follow him to, 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 to overthrow God. God threw them out of heaven to the hellfire. It's because of that, if you see, if you are serving devil, he's deceiving, he hates you from his own call. The day you will die, you will see that the, the hatred that the Satan has for you. He's expecting you now, lying to you now, for you to turn your back on your maker. He's lying to you for you to turn your back on your maker that loves you so much that sent his special blood in the, that sent his special son to share his special blood for you to pay the price for you. Now he's lying to you. You are serving him instead of you to serve your maker, Father God. He's deceiving you. Devil hates all Satan hates all the children of God. He hates God number one and he hates all his children. As soon as you are a human being, you, create, you are created at the, at the, the image of God. Satan hates you. Even though you are working for him, even though you are working for him, he's promising you, he's promising you heaven and earth. That day when you will close your eye in death, you will see the back of Satan. Please, you should not rely on Satan. You should not rely on Satan. Please rely on Jesus. Rely on your Father, the Lord Jesus. Rely on the Holy Spirit that He bless you and I with. So that when you are not finished on this earth, we will go and meet Him. Let us have communion with Him. Let us have a relationship with Him. He yearns for you and I to come to Him and sit at His feet. He wants to teach you. He wants to teach me. He's the one that opened the scripture for us to understand when we read the word of the Lord by the help of the Holy Spirit. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, you are reading the word of the law. It's like a novel to you. You don't get nothing. It's because of that you see the one that they are not in the, the one that is they are not children of God. Then they are reading the word of the Bible. They, they don't understand nothing. It's the help of the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that explaining to us the word of the Lord. Let us rely on Him. Please, we are here to talk about the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is very important in your life, in your Christian life, my Christian life. Holy Spirit is very important. As the word of the Lord said, you and I should not grieve Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is a person. Is a person. Let us have relationship with him. Let us commune with him. Praise Master Jesus. I will, we will read the word of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. When we read the word of the Lord and see the word of the Lord, what God says in his word. Praise Master Jesus. Please let us go to the book of uh, Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us go to the book of uh, Romans. The book of Romans. Let us go to the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Let us open to the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our God is good. Jehovah is good. Almighty God is good. Huh? Jesus don't want us to miss him. He wants us to spend eternity with him. When we finish on this earth, to come and spend eternity with him. Praise Master Jesus. I read the word of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11. It's about uh, if the spirit of uh, him that uh, raised uh, up Jesus uh, from uh, the dead uh, dwell in you. He that uh, raised uh, up uh, Christ. From the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in us. Holy Spirit dwells in you. Holy Spirit dwells in me. The word of the Lord that you heard right now, we read right now that the spirit of the Lord dwells in you, dwells in me. He said the spirit of the Lord is the one. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is very important in your life, in my life. See, Holy Spirit is the one that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Holy Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he dwells in you and me. 
He dwells in you. He dwells in me. He's the Holy Spirit that raised the dead. Holy Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from dead. You see, the importance of the Holy Spirit. He is the one that led Jesus Christ the time he was here on this earth. He is the one that still rose him up from dead, that, re that raised him up from dead. And the Holy Spirit is with you and I, and you and I should not neglect him. You and I can see the importance of him. He, the one, he is the one that led Jesus Christ to the wilderness the time he, uh, he baptized. He is the one that helped him throughout his mission. He's the one that had all the ministry that the, that the ministry, his ministry, uh, everything is the Holy Spirit. And he is the one that still raised him up from dead. He said the Spirit of God that raised him from dead. He, he dwells in you and me. You see, you and I, how we are so privileged to have the Spirit of God dwelling in you, the Spirit that raised Jesus Christ. He said he will quicken your water, quicken my mortal body, quicken your mortal body. You see, we are so privileged. We are children of God. We are really blessed of God. You are blessed of God. I am blessed of God. Beloved. Holy Spirit. Important Holy Spirit. He's vital in your life. He's vital in my life. As a Christian, Holy Spirit raised Jesus Christ from dead. That, 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 the same, that same Spirit that rose Jesus Christ from dead, He lives in you. He lives in me. We should not neglect him as a child of God. We, you and I, should not neglect him. He's the one that quickens your mortal body. He's the one that quickens my mortal body. Let us depend on him. Let us commune with him, please. It's very important for us to know the presence of Holy Spirit. The presence of Holy Spirit is so precious. We should not neglect the presence of Holy Spirit. We should not abandon Holy Spirit. Let us welcome in our lives every day. Please, beloved, wherever you are, according to the word of the law here, what a privilege you and I, we've gotten. We have gotten. You and I, we have gotten a great privilege that the Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, He dressed in you, He dressed in me, the Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. We are still ready. We are seeing the, the, book, the, the, the book of Romans. The book of Romans chapter, chapter, chapter 8, verse 14. Look what the, the word of the Lord is telling you and I. This is why you and I must really put value, put value on our Holy Spirit. Really repent, depend on him. We have to depend on him. As a Christian, as a believer, you and I must depend on the Holy Spirit. Please. Please. We should not joke. Don't say you will run this Christian race on your own strength. You cannot. You need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. Look what the word of the Lord is telling you. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. I read in Jesus' name. For as, uh, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You see? Not as many are led by man or woman, they are sons of God. No. The Holy Spirit. As many as are led by the Holy Spirit, they are the sons, they are the daughters of God. That means you and I must be led. You and I every day must be led. Led by the Holy Spirit. You and I every day we must be led by the Holy Spirit. As many as are led by the Holy Spirit. They are the sons and the daughters of God. You and I let this scripture open your eyes. Let this scripture open the understanding of your eye concerning the Holy Spirit. If you are not led by the Holy Spirit, you are, you will not make heaven. It's not a, it's, it's, it's not me that's saying it. It's only the one that are led by the Spirit of God that will make heaven, that will see God again. It is only them that be the ch children of God according to the word of the Lord. As you are, you are now reading here now. As many as are led by the Spirit, 
of God. They are the sons and the daughters of God. So if you are, if you say you want to lead yourself, you will make heaven. You are lying. You are joking. You must be led by the Holy Spirit. I must be led by the Holy Spirit to be a son, to be a daughter of God. We must be led by the Holy Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. You and I must be led. Now go. Said you want to go. This is prophet. I see this is prophet. You're going there for them to tell you what is their future, what is your future. They don't know your future. It's the Holy Spirit that knows your future, that knows everything about you. Rely on the Holy Spirit. Don't rely on any man, any woman. Rely on the Holy Spirit. He's the one that knows your future. You want to know your future, read the word of the Lord. Holy Spirit will speak to you. He will correct you. He will tell you your future. All those ones that you went and gone seek, seek, seeking them to tell you your future, they don't even know their own future. They are agent of Satan. They don't even know their future. Why should you go there and start seeking them? Instead of you, the word of the Lord said, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. The sons and the daughters of God, why should you go now and start seeking man, seeking woman? Seek your maker. Holy Spirit is here for you. The Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from there, he dwells in you, dwells in me. Let us rely on him. Let us commune with him. Let us have relationship with him. Let us have intimacy with him. He yearns for you and I to sit at his feet. Holy Spirit loves you, he loves me. We should not regret him. We should not re reject him in our lives. We should not abandon him. We should not put it outside. We should not say it. Holy Spirit is a person. Holy Spirit of God is a person. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ was filled, of, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. To the brim. Praise Master Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ knew the importance of the Holy Spirit. It's because of that he said, let me go to my father and then I will ask my father to send you a help, a comforter. He knew that you and I, we, will not able, we cannot able, we will not be able to make a heaven without the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. It's because of that he said, let me go to my father and we ask my father to bless you. It's a gift. Holy Spirit is a gift. Our Father Lord Jesus Christ purchased this gift, expensive gift. No mark I ever give to you. Expensive gift. Lord Jesus Christ purchased it with his special blood for you and I to have a Holy Spirit that will lead you and I to heaven to be the sons and the daughters of God. Please let us rely on him. Let us depend on him. Please. Let, we are still reading the word of the Lord. We would like us to go to the book of uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 14. Let us open to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. It said, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, be with you all. Amen. You see, the communion of the Holy Ghost. The communion of the Holy Ghost. You and I must have communion with him every day. You and I must have communion with Almighty God, sweet Holy Spirit. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. You and I must have communion with Him every day. Praise Master Jesus. We must have that intimacy with Him for Him to lead us. For Him to lead us. He said, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the, the love of the love, the love, the love of God and the, the communion of the Holy Ghost. Are you having communion with the Holy Ghost in you? Have you? Do you? Supposed to? You are not supposed to be having communion with the Holy Ghost every day. When last you have communion with the Holy Ghost? That you sit at his feet, you still, you let him be God in your life. When? When do you have communion with him last? Supposed to be every day. It's supposed to be every day. Wake up in the morning. Good morning, Father God. Good morning, sweet Lord Jesus. Good morning. Good morning, sweet Holy Spirit. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. 
Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. The word of the Lord said we, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost being our Holy Ghost, to have communion with our Holy Ghost. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the name of God. Have a relationship with Him. The love of the love of God, who is taking you deeper in the love of God, is the Holy Ghost. The moment you are having a communion with the Holy Ghost, you are having a relationship with the Holy Ghost, He's taking you deeper in the love of God. He's taking you deeper in the love of Jesus. Now you are understanding the love of Jesus more. You are understanding Father God more. Holy Spirit, start, uh, start opening your, your eyes of understanding, your, eye, your heart of understanding to understand your maker. Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit, please let us rely on him. Please let us rely on our sweet Holy Spirit. Please. He's all in all for us. The Holy Spirit being with us, uh, you all being with all of us, as he says here. The word of the Lord said in the in the, in the second, in second Corinthians chapter chapter 13 verse 14 said the grace of the lord jesus christ and the, and the love of god and the, the communion of the holy spirit be with you and i praise master jesus he's with you he's with me the sweet holy spirit holy spirit is with you holy spirit is with me we should not neglect him as a believer we need him you are now, we need our Holy Spirit every moment of the day. Please let us rely on Him. Let us lean on Him. Please. It will do you good. It will do me good. Praise Master Jesus. And we like us to go to the book of uh, John. The book of John 16. Praise Master Jesus. The book of John 16. Verse, uh, verse 7 to 14. I read in Jesus' name. The book of John 16, verse 7 to 14. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is an expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will descend him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the word of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because, because they believe not on me. Verse 10. Of righteousness because I go to you, my father, and ye see me no more. Of judgment because the priest of this world is a judge. Verse 12, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear, bear the them now. Verse 13, therefore, uh, how, how be it, how be it when he, the spirit of a true is come, he will uh, guide you into all truth, for he shall not, for he shall not speak of uh, himself, but uh, with us, uh, but Whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. 14. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You, can, you and I, we are hearing what the Almighty God is telling you. And uh, the word of the Lord. What Father Lord Jesus Christ said in his word. We are blessed. We are blessed. You and I, we are blessed. Having the Holy Spirit. We are blessed, beloved. As the word of the Lord says, say, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedience for you. And I go away. It, it, it is expedience. It's for your good. It's for my good that the Lord Jesus Christ went away. Because of you and I, Lord Jesus Christ, it, it's very good he went to heaven. He gone, he's gone, he's gone to heaven and he's coming back again. It's for your good, it's for my good, according to the word of the Lord here. He said, for, he said, for if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. 
And if the Lord Jesus Christ is still on this earth today, till today, Holy Spirit will not be here with you. But the Holy Spirit, the Father Lord Jesus Christ went to heaven. Holy Spirit is with you and I right now. Every all believers, Holy Spirit is with us. If you see the believer that still living in sin, that still dwell in sin, wallow in sin, Holy Spirit have already confessed them. Holy Spirit have already told spoke to them. What you are doing is wrong. They don't want to listen. Holy Spirit back up. Leave them. Let them do it if they can make it their safe. I leave you, let me see. You better come back to Jesus. You better repent. Holy Spirit is correcting you. Take that correction. Take that correction if you want to make heaven. Take that correction from the Holy Spirit. He's the one that quicken your motor body and my motor body. He said, according to the word that you just read, as many as are led by the Spirit, not by yourself, not by man, not by woman, by the Spirit of God, they are the one that call what? They are the sons and the daughter of God. If you want to be a son and daughter of God, you want to see your maker daddy, you want to spend uh, your eternity in heaven, you must rely on the Holy Spirit. You must allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. You must listen to the Holy Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. You and I must listen to him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You and I must listen to you. No, 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 no doubt. The word of the Lord is telling you here that uh, the Holy Spirit is your comfort. If I don't go away, Father Lord Jesus Christ explaining to you deeper that you, you and I must understand. Your going, He's going the way is for your good. He's going the way is for my good. Said if I don't go away, the comforter will not come. Let me go so that the comforter will come and help you and be your comforter, be your helper, be your leader, be your reminder. You see. In verse 8, he said, And then when he is a come, he will not reprove the word of sin. It's the Holy Spirit that reproves the word of sin. When you are sinning, it's the Holy Spirit. When you are lying, Holy Spirit will say, Tell you, please, what you are doing. You lie. You have lied. Repent. You have to repent of that you're lying. You gossip. Holy Spirit said, This is God. You have to repent. You think about somebody in your heart evil. You re Holy Spirit will tell you, please, you, you have sinned against God. He's the one that reproves. He's the one that reproves sin to the world. He's the one that reproves it to every one of us for us, to take, for us to turn our back on sin. For sin not to have dominion over you. For sin not to have dominion over me. Holy Spirit of the Lord Almighty is the one that correcting you and now, leading you and now. Let us rely on him. Let us rely on the Holy Spirit, beloved. He proved. Not just only proof to the word of sin. He proved the righteousness. You live in a righteous life. Holy Spirit help you. To live a holy life, righteous life, you and I must as a believer. We must live a holy land and righteous. The Holy Spirit is the one that giving us the grace. Is the one that helping us to live, to surrender to God, Almighty God. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. Because I dare believe you're not on me. You see? In verse 13. In verse 13, says, How bitter when a him and the spirit of a truth is come. He will the guide you, the spirit of truth. Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. There is no lie in him. There is no lie in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. It's because of that you are not must lean on him. Please. He is the spirit of truth. He will guide you. He said the word of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. He will guide you. He is your guider. He is your guardian. He is the one that guiding you. He is your guardian. He guides you. He guides me. Holy Spirit of God. He said he will guide you. He will guide me into truth. He will guide you now. He just not in, not in the error. He will not guide you into error. He will not guide you into sin. He will guide you into truth. The truth of the word of God. When you hear the word of the Lord, you will know this is the true word of God. The counterfeit one are telling you, you will know this is the, the for, for example, now, 
He is the one that leading all of us as a, as a child of God. Last time, I think it was a Sunday, I was just uh, looking at Facebook. Then I saw this woman, she, a young, young woman. Maybe, she, maybe the church belongs to her. Maybe she's a pastor there or maybe the inviter. I don't know. There was people in there. So, you see, it's because of that you and I, as we have Holy Spirit, let us depend on the Holy Spirit. Let it lead us. If you are in that, in that kind of a church that they call themselves prophetess, they call themselves prophet, they are prophetizing, prophesying lying to you. And they're telling you to open your palms so they can read in the church, in the congregation. Instead of them to write synagogues of Satan, they wrote church, deceiving children of God. It's because of that you and I must be led, you and I must be led by the Holy Spirit. So you know the counterfeit, you know the, the, the real one. So this lady that a preacher said is a preacher, she, she now he came from he came to to the one that said sit, sit on the on the on the on the on the ah and be I and so okay get. so in the congregation in the congregation congregation so she left and I came somebody was following her you know this uh, those uh, faith, this uh, counterfeit preacher when they are preaching. Somebody following them at the back is like uh, they, that. That person is their guide, something like this. Somebody was following her at the back. She went and came to this woman. She told this man, she said, "Who is this woman to you? Who is this woman to you? How do you? Who is this woman to you? Is your friend, your sister, your aunt, your your daughter? Who? That one they haven't even answered. I said, stand up, stand up, and they stood up." The both of the women they stood up. Then he told the the, the woman. I think uh, she she knew that the other one maybe is a, a member. Now this one she knew that uh, is a is a what is it called? Is a visitor. So then he said they should stand up. Both of them st stood up. Then he told this woman, open your hand, open your hand. Then he took the woman hand like this. No, the woman hand like this. Then he start reading. Calling the name of the friend of this woman to this woman. I say, hey, abomination. Abomination, man. Too much abomination in the house of God. God didn't say you and now I should rely on any woman to be reading our palm to tell us what our future, to tell us the, 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 the name of our, of our friends our, and our relatives, to be naming names for us, to be calling the, our bank account for us, to be calling the, the bank we are, we have uh, the, the, the name of the bank we are, we are keeping our finances. God is not interested in those ones. It's because of that you are now, as the word of the Lord says here, that he will guide you, Holy Spirit will guide you. If you are, if you and I have, uh, what is it called, uh, invited to this kind of church, immediately you carry your bag and bag, bag and carry yourself, you will go out of that church, you don't step on that church anymore because it's a synagogue of Satan. Even though the right church is a synagogue of Satan, that is not for, that is not church. That is a, uh, what is it called, uh, Marie, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, that, you see the familiar spirit. They are choosing familiar spirit. She was choosing for a wish, wish. Choosing familiar spirit to read that woman, uh, read that woman's uh, hand. And you said you are, you are, you are, you are, you are a preacher. Huh? So it's because of that you and I must be led by the Holy Spirit of God. When these kind of people are coming, the Holy Spirit will warn you. We warn you before our head. Don't do, don't go. Is your guide? Is my guide? Is your guide? Holy Spirit of God is your guide. Is my guide? According to the word of the said, He will guide you to the truth. He will guide you into all truth. Praise Master Jesus. He will guide you and I into all truth. Holy Spirit will let you know this is error. This is truth. Praise Master Jesus. Holy Spirit is the one, as I said already, is the one that taking you are now. Deeper in the love of God, you see? He said that, uh, and uh, verse 13 is at the end of the verse, verse 13, he said, uh, and uh, he will assure the you things to come. It's not the palm readers will tell you it is to come. They are lying to you. 
They don't even ask them their future. They don't even know their future. Why are you letting them read in your pants, telling you rubbish? They can tell you your past, but their fu your future they don't know. It's your maker, Jesus, that knows your future, not them. They can guess to tell you what we eat your ear, we sweet your ear, but they don't know your future. It's God that knows your future that creates you. Don't let them, don't go there, don't let them temper with your glory. Don't let them temper with your glory. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He said he will show he will, he will bring things to you and I come to pass. He said he will not show you the things. The things that will come to pass for you and I. He will show you the things to come. Your future. What will come in your future? Holy Spirit will show you brighter future. As a child of God, rely on God, trusting in God, rely on the Holy Spirit. Brighter future you and I have. Please let us hold on to Holy Spirit. Let us continue depending on him. Let us continue seeking him. You know, when you're in a desert, when you're in a desert, you see no water there. How thirsty when you are thirsty in the desert, you don't have something to drink. You run in where you can get water to drink. Let us take our Holy Spirit as like as like we are in the desert. We are we are thirsty to drink water. We don't have to, we have to search. We have to run, run and search where we will get water. I thank God you and I don't have to run. We don't have to run. The Holy Spirit is in you. Let us be let us be thirsty, thirsty for Him. Let us be thirsty like we are thirsty of uh, drinking water when we are in the, where you, you, you are there. There's no water. You thirsty so much. You hungry. Let us be hungry for the Holy Spirit. Let us be hungry for him. Let us be thirsty for him. Let us, let him, let him, we should allow him to fill us. Which is which is which is the living water that comes from the, the from the throne room of God. Praise Master Jesus. Let us be open unto Holy Spirit. Our sweet Holy Spirit. Let us have communion with Him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord His Word. The departure of our Lord Jesus Christ was absolutely necessary. So that the Holy Spirit can come and help you and I, and is helping you and I now, that you and I will we make heaven is by the help of the, the precious Holy Spirit. He purchased that, He purchased Holy Spirit for you and I, which is precious blood. Praise, please, we should not neglect Holy Spirit. We should not abandon Holy Spirit. We should not keep Him aside in our lives. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now we like us to, to go to the book of, uh, let us go to the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, the book of Psalms 139, the book of Psalms 139 verse uh, Seven to ten, I read in Jesus' name. Where shall I go from my spirit? You see, where the word the, 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 the psalmist is asking, Where where should I go? Where should I go from my spirit? The Holy Spirit is with you. Where should you go that the Holy Spirit will not see you? Where should you hide that the Holy Spirit will not see you? Is he in the rock? Is he inside a tree? Where you want to hide, Holy Spirit is not with you. Holy Spirit knows or your, knows everything about you. It's because of that we should not hide something from him. Let us be open unto him. He said that he am serious. He said, oh, where, where the, shall I flee from his presence? You and I cannot flee from his presence because he sees everything. Holy Spirit sees everything. He gives, he gives you the view what you are what you what you are doing he will remind you he will tell you i see you you cannot hide you cannot hide he sees everything holy spirit verse 8 he said if i ascend up into heaven thou art there if i make my bed in the hair 
Behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of thy mary and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall thou hand lead me. Hallelujah. Amen. And the right hand shall hold me. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit of God lead you. Let He lead you. Allow Him to lead you. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. I should allow the Holy Spirit to lead me. Because He's the one that we lead us to be is the son and the daughter of God. The sons and the daughters of God. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. He said, even there shall the thy hand, the hand of the Holy Spirit, lead me, and the thy right hand shall the hold me. Let the Holy Spirit hold you with his right hand. Allow the Holy Spirit to hold you. I should allow the Holy Spirit to hold me. Please, let us live our life for Jesus. Let us live the precious gift that Lord Jesus Christ has given to you and I. Precious gift. Praise Master Jesus. Precious gift he has given to you and I. The sweet Holy Spirit. Please, this Holy Spirit. Our sweet Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one, almighty God. Holy Spirit is the one that convinces sinners of sin. It's the Holy Spirit that convinces. It's the one that convinces me in my sin to surrender to my Jesus. He's the one, Holy Spirit, that convinces sinners their sin of sin. Is the Holy Spirit. He's the Holy Spirit that makes it a demon to know that they are abomination. Is the Holy Spirit that makes you to know what you are doing that is not right and abomination to God. Is by the Holy Spirit you and I. And knowing that we run away from that abomination, what is not pleasing to Almighty God. It's the Holy Spirit that confuses us of the fact of a sin. Say, this is sin, my son. This is sin, my daughter. Run away from it. It's by the Holy Spirit. If not the Holy Spirit, you and I could have still be well in sin. It's the Holy Spirit that leading us. It's the one that correcting us that we have a done. So, what you did something, you did something wrong. Holy Spirit is the one that, that correcting you and now. Telling you now, this is wrong, what you have done. So, 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 so you have done, this is wrong. Don't do it again. You repent, you turn away from that wicked way. From that sinful way. From that sinful way of the fruit. The fault of a sin, the fault. The fault of sin, you know, is not pleasing to God. You have to give it up. You and I have to give sin up. The feeding, the feeding of, of a sin. Sin is feeding. Sin is feeding. There's nothing clean in sin. Sin is feeding. In the sight of God, is sin is feeding. Even in the sight of men. When men know what you have done wrong, it, 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 it retains them. Talk less of God. Talk less of Almighty God. Sin is feeding. Sin. He's the one that, 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 that confused you. He's the one that tell you this one you are well in. This is the fountain of sin. You are well in this fountain of sin. You better stop. You better go out of this sin. Holy Spirit. Please. Please. It's the Holy Spirit, the, the fountain of a sin. He will tell you this is the fountain of sin. It's the Holy Spirit that we correct you. It's the Holy Spirit that helps you to give up that that was in that corrupt nature of Adamic nature. It's by the Holy Spirit you are giving it up. It's by the Holy Spirit said this nature, this your line, or this your do you talk too much? Adamic nature that is in you. This sin you must get it off. This corrupt sin, you must nature. This corrupt nature, you must give it up. It doesn't fit you. This is not for child of God. Give it up. It's the Holy Spirit that convincing you that that is helping us to know where we are going wrong. The fruit of the of, of sin. The end of it is death. The fruit of sin. The end of it is death. There is nothing good contrast of, of sin. It's death. Let us rely on the, our sweet Holy Spirit. Let all let Holy Spirit lead us. That man, the, the mother, the Holy Spirit, when you murder somebody in your heart, 
gossiping bondaging somebody or you go with knife or you shoot that person murder that person holy spirit said before you start even planning the holy spirit will tell you please don't do this is a sin this is a this is a sin don't do it holy spirit convince you and i he's the one that's showing that uh, that 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 you and I know the truth. Praise Master to Jesus. We thank God for God. Beloved. My sisters, my brothers. Unbelief. That don't sinner. Unbelief. That don't sinner. That don't sinners. They said they don't believe God is existing. I don't believe in Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in... At the end of their, their, their life, they, they close their life in death. They found themselves. They are doomed forever. And there is no return anymore. Please don't be there. As you hear the word of the Lord right now. Please don't be... Don't doubt Jesus. Don't doubt Holy Spirit. Don't say, I don't believe. You better believe. You better believe because the word, all the word of God is pure. For you and I making heaven. For you and I see Father God. You and I must be led by the Holy Spirit. Say, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they, they are the sons of God. Let us be led by Him. May the Lord help you and I. To be led by him in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Father God. I have delivered your message. Use your message to speak to your son. So your daughter. Open our eyes and our heart of understanding. To understand. To lead on the Holy Spirit. To have communion with the Holy Spirit. To have intimacy with the Holy Spirit. To have that relationship with the Holy Spirit. Deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit. That will take us deeper in your love Father. I ask in Jesus, help all of us, O oh Lord. I ask in any more just use this message to pass us to your kingdom, Father, in Jesus. So this message in the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Amen and amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, my sisters, my brother, you are out there. You heard this message. That the one, the one that don't have Holy Spirit, they don't have Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, you have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. To save you, you have to say you have to give him your life. The Holy Spirit is not with you. If you decide today to give your life to Him, the Holy Spirit will come in, come to you. He will live in you. He will live in you. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will remind you what you have to know, the truth you have to know. He will teach you everything that you have to do. You have to know the Holy Spirit. Please, I want you to give your life to Jesus. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, please, I want you to make up your mind right now and give your life to Jesus. Jesus Christ is coming back again. Lord Jesus Christ, lost, he lost me. He is coming back again to take his children home. As he went, he said he's coming back again to take us home. We are expecting him. He's, come, he's coming at any time. He wants you to be one of his child. When he comes, he will take you along as well. Please, don't, don't turn this off. I, Give your life to Jesus. It will do you good on this earth. It will do you good in heaven. Joy, 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 joy when you are in heaven. Please. There is no more sorrow there. There is no sorrow in heaven. There is no, no sorrow, no weeping in heaven. Joy, joy. But our Lord Jesus Christ promised all his children, all his children that he, he is go, going to prepare a mansion for us. He's coming back to take us and all. he will give every one of us our mansion. Oh, please decide today to give your life to him please don't turn this don't say i'm not a, i didn't i'm not born in a christian home please every knees every thought shall confess on that day that jesus christ is lord you and i we will stand in the presence of jesus he is our judge he is the one that will judge everyone else. you will not say because i'm not i'm not a christian because i don't believe in jesus this is the judgment day i cannot go there no you don't have any say you will be there. He is the one that will judge every one of us. Both Muslim, both Buddhists, both Hindus, both atheists, name them. He is the one that will judge every one of us. 
please the one that doesn't be, that do, that doesn't trust him that doesn't believe the word of the Lord said that those persons have already been condemned. God don't want God doesn't want you to be condemned. It's because of that he's bring bringing this offer to you that he's telling you right now he loves you so much he doesn't want your soul to lose. He doesn't want your soul to go to where he is not. Her fire is God is not there. Satan is demon, they are there. God doesn't want you to go there. He wants you to come to heaven. Where he is. He's there. He sent you to come on this day. He wants you to come and meet him. Spend eternity with him. What a, what a privilege. That you have got. You and I, we have, got, we have gotten the privilege to, to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, as our Savior. And give our life to him. And when we that. No more sorrow, no more, sh no, no more tears. We are with him. But the one that doesn't accept him as their Lord, their Savior, when they close their eyes, they, they see their self there in the hellfire, crying, sorrow, weeping, no food, no drink, no, 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 no air, everything. What they have there is only punishment. Burning fire, death. The demons are, are, are beating them. The demons are tearing them. The demons, are, the demons everything that they did on this. Demons are rewarding them in the in the hellfire. That will not be your portion. That will not be my portion. Please, I want you to give your life to Jesus. Surrender your life to Jesus. Please, please don't let don't lose your life. Don't lose your soul. Jesus Christ loves you. Please let us pray. Pray this prayer. The pray the salvation prayer. Pray it. Mean it with your own heart. Please, please, let us pray. Dear God. Dear God, I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood for me and he died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invited Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. I am happy for you. Praise the living God. I am happy for you. Your name is written in the book of life right now. We bless the name of the Lord. The angels of the Lord, they are rejoicing over your soul right now. We thank God. The Holy Spirit of God is in you right now. It's with you right now. That, that will teach you all things you need to know. The truth you need to know. In Jesus' name. Amen. I welcome you. In the body of Christ in Jesus name, Amen. Please buy a holy Bible, buy a holy Bible, and start reading the Word of the Lord. Holy Spirit, we start teaching you step by step. We all of us are growing by grace in Jesus and the children of God in Jesus name. Please look for a church that teach undiluted Word of God. They will teach you the true gospel, sound doctrine. They will not lie to you. Please, look for that church. It's my prayer. Father God, lead, lead your children to that church in Jesus' name. Amen. Please. My, my, my sisters, my brothers, please, tell your pastors that you want them to make water baptism for you. Lord Jesus Christ, this is him. He was baptized. He said we should do it. Tell them you need water baptism. It is my prayer that we have time to do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. To make that water baptism for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, I want to give you this uh, scripture. Please write it down. In your quiet time, you read it yourself. You can send it to friends, relatives. Let them read it for themselves. This is the word of God. Praise my Jesus. I call it the scripture. Psalm, Psalm, the book of Psalms. 135 verse 15 the book of Deuteronomy 7 verse 25 to 26 the book of uh, Isaiah 30 verse 22 the book of Isaiah chapter 31 verse 7 the book of Deuteronomy 25 verse 5 the book of uh, Jeremiah 4 30 the book of uh, second uh, second kings 9 30 the book of uh, ezekiel 20 23 40 the book of revelation 21 8 the book of uh, revelation chapter 20 verse 15 the book of uh, the book of uh, 
First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5 to 6. Please, read it for yourself. I pray God will open your eyes of understanding, the heart of your understanding to understand what is an abomination to God. What God calls a lie is a lie. There's no, there's no, there's no great in lie in the sight of God. Lie is lie. Lie is equal in the sight of God. Putting on makeup, you are lying. Lipstick, you are lying. That is not your color. That is not your color in your mouth, on your face. And face and lashes, that is your lying. That uh, lie lashes that not to the so stretch out is not your. It's not your. It's not your. I like it, the fake I like it, the fake nails, you are lying. All liars where they will end up their life. The word of the Lord said, All liars. All liars, not just only one lie. All liars. In Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. All liars shall have the part in the lake which are born with fire and priesthood. That will not be your portion. That will not be my portion. Please, Father God said. We should not put on gold and silver on our body. You are if you are still wearing uh, those uh, jewelry ornaments, please pack them out of your body. Please pack them out of your body. Uh, God said He has placed a curse on them. I have given you the the scripture. Please read it for yourself. When you are in the house of God, when you are there, you are going to the house of God, you are praying in your house. Cover your head. Your hair is your glory. But when you are in the presence of God, cover your head. Cover your head to honor God. Because the angels of the Lord, they are there. Don't dishonor your head. Don't dishonor your head. Please honor God and honor your head in Jesus' name. Please read the word of the Lord for yourself. Don't be packing. The, don't pack a Jew and uh, what is it called? A relax on your, on your hair, stretching your hair. Putting wood, using wood to make your hair, you use the attachment to make your hair, putting weave with fun and a and a wig on it. You are defying your glory. Your hair is your glory. When you are putting all those things, you are defying them. You are defying them. Find out God said they that they, they, they said any man that defy my temple. Any man that defy my temple, I will destroy him. God doesn't want to destroy you. Because you are the temple of God. I am the temple of God. We should not defy his temple. He said, anyone that defies his temple, he will destroy you. He doesn't want to destroy you. As you are hearing this message, it is my prayer. God will give you the grace. And you will take the grace, decide to make, decide to, to turn away from those worldliness, all those worldly things. As God said, a friend to the world is an enemy to him. God doesn't want you to be his enemy. You are a friend of God. Continue to be a friend of God. Pack those jewelry out of your body. Pack those lipstick, those makeup out of the wig. Throw them away. As a woman, dress holy, dress modesty. Please pack that trouser, tear them and put them in the bin. Please. He said it's an abomination to him. It's an abomination. You and I cannot change it. Please. It is my prayer. As you are hearing the word of the Lord, you will take precaution and change what God wants you to change and obey God. Don't say you love God, you are disobeying. That is not love. You are lying. You are loving God, you are showing Him how much you love Him, you are obeying Him. As soon as you obey Him, you are telling Him, I love you. And He will reward you. All those joys, all those uh, property of Jezebel that you pack out of your body, God will reward you with heaven. He will reward you greatly. On that day when we get to heaven, the reward that it will be given to you will be so surprised. Surprised to, to see the reward that he rewarded you for all those things that you gave up because of him. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. See this word with the special blood of the Lamb of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remain blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Till we see you again. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Amen.